Hey friends, welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new around here, and today we're gonna to be doing lots and lots of deep cleaning. So I have eight days worth of deep cleaning for you to give you some motivation and some inspiration to finish up your deep cleaning if you haven't yet finished. Now, if you have finished your deep cleaning for the year, I really hope that you'll just sit down, relax with maybe a cup of coffee or a cup of hot tea or whatever your favorite beverage is, and just enjoy that your hard work is done and you can just watch me do the hard work. What I love to do with these long videos is to put them up on my TV and just clean around my house. That is my favorite way to enjoy these videos. And this video is also a giveaway, so I will have all of the details in my description box but basically you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, that you hit the like button for this video, and that you leave me a comment, and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. So I really hope that you guys all join the giveaway, and I hope you love the video. Thank you again for being here, and enjoy. Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new around here, and thank you so much for joining me for some spring deep cleaning. So I'll be working here in the kids' bedrooms, and as I made my way into these rooms and pulled out the furniture and really got underneath, it was way worse than I thought, so stay tuned for some very heavy, very satisfying deep cleaning. If you would like a deep cleaning checklist, I have them available for free on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com, and that link is available in my description box. I'm starting here in my son Alex's room. He is the youngest, he's three years old, so I knew I'd be getting into some serious toys in here and you know things pushed under the dresser and the furniture, so that was no surprise. But I wanted to make sure to start from top to bottom and get his light fixture really good as well as his window and his blinds. So give this video a big thumbs up if you're ready for some spring deep cleaning. Now we like to help Alex tidy up his room each night before he goes to bed, but I had been noticing more and more colorful things under his dresser. So I knew that his furniture really needed to be pulled back out. The last time we did this was right before Christmas. We pulled out the furniture and made sure everything was cleaned and decluttered before Christmas. But with him being three and just with him kind of playing with some of these toys at night while everybody's sleeping, I think sometimes he'll get up and fool around with them, we're not really sure but he does end up making a lot of messes. So I really think I need to start pulling his furniture out possibly on a monthly basis. Let me know in the comments if your kids push stuff under the furniture too and how often you need to pull those out and clean them and what works for you. And as I'm pulling out each piece of furniture, I'm also making sure to sweep, get the baseboards and mop as well. And I'm using the Method wood floor cleaner in the almond scent as well as my light and easy steam mop. As far as cleaners today, I'm using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the peony scent. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite scent in that line. And Alex's lamp had gotten moved, uh, I think last week, to a different space in the house. And so I went in the garage and found this little lamp to put in his room. His stove top was full of crumbs, so I went ahead and got my little handheld vacuum and got to work. And as I'm watching this, I can't help but think I'm a little bit 
crazy for getting him a kitchen because when we buy our toddlers kitchens now we have two kitchens to clean instead of one so i guess that's the stuff we'll do for our kids to make them happy but he loves playing in his kitchen and it's worth having to clean it up once a week Now, if you look to the bottom right side of the kitchen in that cabinet, it's actually the refrigerator. There's like a big spill down there and it was actually a strawberry smoothie from that morning that got spilled and then it kind of turned brown. So I'm really glad I caught this. I'm glad it happened on this day because I'm sure it would have attracted ants. So I'm really glad that I caught it while it was still fresh and I could just wipe it out. Before I move back the kitchen, I wanna make sure and get the baseboards really well. And I'm also gonna wipe the walls. Anytime I'm seeing little spots on the walls, dirt on the walls, I'm just kind of spot cleaning them as I can. And then if I can't get them out, I'll use the magic eraser. So here I'm using a magic eraser to get this scuff mark off of his microwave. And then there was another scuff mark on his kitchen counter that I used it for as well. I went ahead and got him a new little fruit set from the Melissa and Doug line. This one is so cute because you can cut the fruit. It's a little chopping set and the fruit's held together by Velcro and he absolutely loved that. So I was really glad that I got that for him because he has especially been enjoying that. So I went ahead and restocked his pantry and fridge. Okay, it's time to pull back the dresser. I knew this was gonna be super bad because I could see it just kind of oozing out from underneath the dresser, but here is the damage right here. And I saw something all shredded up. It was like little tiny pieces of foam and I could see that scattered everywhere, but I wasn't sure what that was. And I ended up finding out what it was. It was one of those squishy toys that I think he got out of my daughter's room and he had kind of shredded it up in a million pieces. So I will show you that when I find it.
Once I got to the bed, I realized that I forgot to wash the sheets. Normally I like to do that first and that way they can be washing and drying while I'm cleaning the room. So that is definitely the benefit of using the checklist. Of course, even though I have a checklist and it's right there on my website, I forgot to print it out. And so today I was just working randomly and this is why I like to use it so that I can do things in the best order possible to be as efficient as possible, but that's okay. Once I remembered, I went into Noelle's room and grabbed her sheets off and Nathan's room as well so that I could get them all washing and get that process going. I also went ahead and vacuumed and sprayed their mattresses just so I wouldn't forget. Stay tuned because I'm heading back into Alex's room after this and I found a lot more stuff, toys, trash, debris, all kinds of things that he had actually hidden under his bed. Okay, so I really didn't have much of a place to put this bed. This room is really small. So I just kind of tried to prop the mattress up against the frame so that I could see what was under there and get it swept out. One of the hardest parts about working in the bedrooms is that there's just really not that much room to work. So you have to get creative, kind of, you know, putting things off to the side and tilting them different ways so that you can get to different parts of the floor. But I just did the best I could picked up anything that was salvageable, and then swept up the rest, and then mopped the floor. I was really grateful that my light and easy steam mop fits so perfectly between these slats so that I could just kind of clean this bed while it was still on the floor. It was just so convenient. And I am definitely convinced after cleaning this room and editing this video that this is gonna have to be a once a month project, at least for Alex's room. When I got to Noelle's room, there really wasn't much behind the furniture. I think I found maybe like three hair elastics and that was it. She really didn't have hardly anything. Um, and then Nathan's room, I did find quite a few things, but nothing compared to Alex's. So the three-year-old is definitely the one I'm gonna have to keep my eye on a little more, and I'll have to do this a little more frequently. Again, magic erasers work really well for wall stains, wall markings like crayon or marker or scuff marks. I just find that they're really, really good. If a magic eraser won't get it off, I usually just touch up paint the wall because it usually will get out anything that will come up. So I'm just putting his mattress back on, getting his bed back in place, and then I will vacuum his mattress and spray his mattress while I'm waiting for the sheets to wash and dry.
I'm adding this picture of Alex with his brother and sister and his little bun bun. This is a little recorder that you can record stories on, music. You can record your voice for your child to listen to when they go to sleep. And my aunt gave this to him a year ago and he absolutely loves it. He never wants to go to bed without it. So we've both recorded messages on there for him. And Tony has read a bunch of his stories and recorded them on the bun bun so that Alex can enjoy them while he's falling asleep. And now I'm just cleaning off his bookshelf and getting his books all back in order. This is another little Melissa and Doug toy that he loves. This is his workbench. And I think some of his tools might be scattered throughout the house because I didn't really see all of them. But I put his little toolbox back on with the tools that I could find. And then I'll have to track down the rest later. But we love the Melissa and Doug toys. They are such good quality and they last such a long time. Now that Alex's room is all clean, I actually have a new area rug for him. This one I will link in my description box under quick links. And it's just a nice like shaggy area rug, something really soft for him to sit on, play on, get all his toys out and just be really comfortable in his room. So it was pretty tightly rolled up. So I did have to kind of anchor it down with the workbench, but it really looks cute in here. And I really think that it's gonna help with just softening the room up, making it more comfortable. And his sheets were all clean and dry, so I went ahead and put those back on as well so that we can get his room all clean and calm. And once his room was all clean, I called him in so that he could check out his kitchen and his new chopping set. And as you can see, he really, really liked it. He was very happy and I know he felt like a big boy. So here on day two, I started out in Noelle's room 
and of course the kids bedding was done for them to go to bed last night so I went ahead and had them put their bedding back on their beds now they're at school so I am in here just deep cleaning in their bedrooms I'm gonna go ahead and start with the light fixtures again and everything that's on the walls and just kind of work my way from top to bottom this is a smaller version of the extendable duster that I had. It does extend, but just not as much. It's really small and it came in a little set of two and they both come in really handy for different kinds of tasks. So I'll go ahead and add those to my quick links as well. Let me know in the comments some of your favorite go-to cleaning tools. Mine would definitely have to be my Light and Easy Steam Mop. I think that's my number one favorite. And then the Tyneco is really growing on me. So my cordless Tyneco vacuum and the Tyneco that sweeps and mops at the same time, that one is a game changer. So I'm really enjoying those tools. Let me know in the comments your favorite cleaning tools. I honestly can't remember if I told you guys about this white shelf yet, but we had ordered one of these for the dining room actually. We were gonna put it next to the fireplace and it didn't work out in that space. It was not the right size, but it ended up looking really nice in Noelle's room. So we actually just brought it in here and I just think it matches her other furniture so beautifully. So it's like it was meant to be here. But now I'm just moving on to her window. I'm dusting the blinds, cleaning the window, cleaning the windowsill, and then I'll clean her desk as well. Now her desk does have a glass top to it. We had it custom made when we first bought the desk because Noelle loves to do art and she got this desk when she was much younger and she loved to do so many art projects on it and we just didn't know how it would hold up with being a white desk and having paint all over it all the time. So we went ahead and got this glass top right from the get-go and we have not regretted it because she really can use this for whatever she wants and she just doesn't have to worry about it at all. Her uniform just got back from the dry cleaners, so I'm gonna hang that up. We are so proud of Noelle for all of her achievements with her ROTC. So we had just gone to her award ceremony and she got so many awards as a parent. It was just such a good feeling to hear her name called so many times. It was just one of those proud mama moments. So I know she works very hard to earn each and every one and we're really, really proud of her. So here are some of her awards. She has them out on her dresser right now, but I wanted to kind of put them in a safe place. So I put them out on the bar in the kitchen just so that she could find a really good home for them and I can get this dresser all cleaned off for her. I wish I had a little more time with you, baby. Time to figure out what this could be.
Like I said, there really wasn't much behind her dresser, just a couple of hair elastics and some dust. So I'll get this swept and mopped. And then the main thing is I just wanted to get this chair rail and wainscoting all cleaned off and dusted off because it does collect a lot of dust in the detail work. And then over here on her nightstand, I'll just go ahead and get this dusted off as well and then make sure to get the baseboards that are along that wall. So here's what I found under her bed. This was definitely where all the dust was hiding and collecting. Huge dust bunnies, so I went ahead and got my shark corded vacuum and got to work. Now that her room is clean, I'll go ahead and steam mop in here and get these floors all shined up. And then we are on to Nathan's room. And like I said, I found quite a bit of things in Nathan's room. So you're definitely gonna wanna keep watching because it does get way worse in there, but that just makes it even more motivating. I know when I watch videos like this where there are surprises and it gets a lot messier than anyone ever thought and we restore order to the home it's just a really encouraging and motivating thing so stick with me and once we get to nathan's room we still have some battling to do but then we will be able to rest the brightest sky i have ever seen the most colorful one Okay, so I'm just gonna get these things down off of his little shelf so that I can dust this really well. Nathan's room is kind of like a battle themed slash football themed slash video games and models. So those are the things that he really loves and enjoys. So that's kind of the theme of his room. He has kind of like a sage army green comforter that really goes well with that theme. And then he just has all of his favorite things everywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these scuff marks off the wall. Sometimes this bed pushes up against the wall and leaves a mark. And it doesn't do that in Noelle's room, but for some reason it'll do it in this room. Luckily, it does mostly come up with the magic eraser. And like I said, if it really won't and it's really stubborn, I'll use a little bit of touch up paint. Bye. 
These display shelves were very dusty that has all of his battle stuff and his tanks. So if you like detail cleaning, you are in for a treat because I have to detail clean all of these little models and tanks and army men. So I really hope you enjoy this part. Even the fact that I'm upset. Okay, now I'm gonna move his bed and his nightstand and see what the damage is. So here we go, this is what I found. So it's like snack wrappers, Nerf guns, and a lot of dust. So I'm gonna go ahead and get whatever is salvageable picked up first, and then I'll go in with my broom and then I'll mop. At this point, I was ready to make his bed, and that's when Alex ran in. He wanted to help Mama, so you'll kind of see him darting in and out a little bit of the shots as I make the bed, and I'm just kind of talking to him while I work. And then in a couple minutes, you'll see that he wanted to help me clean the dresser, so he actually helps me clean the dresser, which I was really happy about because normally he doesn't actually want to help me clean. He just wants me to play with him. So he actually wanted to clean today, so I definitely put him to work.
together we used to sit on the grass among the flowers we just let the days pass by people would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job we didn't care what we were told cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of control when they found out we ran from home just to scare them we were free when we were 17 Try to stay in touch But we had to move on Life ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city Now I have most of the hard work out of the way And I'm moving over here to the desk he has some freshly formed models, I guess you could say, over here. They're like dinosaurs and creatures, and I really didn't want to mess those up because he worked really hard on them. So I just kind of scooted them around and cleaned around them the best I could and put everything back. Let me know in the comments if you have teens or really kids of any ages, what hobbies are they into? I know for mine, Nathan is mostly into football, a little bit of basketball. He loves to make models both airplane models and also like clay figures. Um, and then he also likes to play video games. He loves to read. And those are like, I would say his main hobbies. Noelle plays piano and she does ROTC, which if you're not familiar with that, it's like drill training, military training in high school. So she really enjoys that. She also loves art and she just recently started jujitsu, so that's like a new thing that she's been practicing and learning. So, but let me know in the comments what your kids are into because I always find it interesting what kids pick up and what they, you know, find interesting and what they're good at. I have a lot to sweep up right here. I am even having trouble fitting it all in my dustpan, so I'm trying to take the bulky things out. Okay, so here's a shot of my dirty mop head. This room is definitely clean and calm after a lot of hard work and elbow grease. But you know what? It is such a good feeling to put a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears into a room, scrub it really good, bring back the shine, and just bring back that peace in the room so that my son can enjoy it, we can enjoy our home, all of the bedrooms are clean and calm, and that is just such a wonderful feeling. So thank you so much for being with me today, friends. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that this video inspires you to create a clean and calm space in your house one room at a time. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next.
Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new here, and today we're gonna be tackling this dining room. So as you can see, I've got most everything cleared off, ready for deep cleaning. I do have a lot of things here on the table, just from the whole process of doing that, and also just other random things that end up on this table. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those put away. We'll get some deep cleaning done. We'll get some spring touches out. And I really hope you're ready for this. I hope you've got some cleaning to do where we can do this together, or you can just watch this and gather some inspiration. And I am getting over a cold, so I do apologize for my voice being a little off, but I think it's gonna be okay. So here I'm just gonna start by putting away all of these things. It's just kids' toys, games, my Cricut, all kinds of things. So we'll get this table cleared off and we will get to cleaning. Now that the room is clear, I'll go ahead and take my duster extender pole and just run it along where the ceiling meets the wall and anything else that I think might be out of reach. And this is just such a good and easy way to get some dusting done without having to pull out the ladder. And I'm so excited, you guys. Stay tuned because I have a new rug that I'm so excited to show you and I'll put it under my dining room table and I really just think it makes the room. It's also gonna help out a lot with the acoustics in this room until we get our fireplace furniture. Again, I'm going off of my cleaning therapy checklist. You can get a checklist on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com and if you'd like one, they are a free printable. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and now I'm taking a magic eraser and just going over all of the marks that I see on my walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle those. And then for my deep cleaning today, I'm really just using a hot soapy rag and some Dawn dish liquid um, along with that. And I really just find that that's my favorite way to deep clean because I don't wanna add more polish at this time. I polish my furniture pretty regularly. And this is my chance to kind of strip some of that off and really clean the furniture and let it breathe until I polish it again. And here I'm just adding a couple of spring touches to these little shelves and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes when I'm reasoning about us, I know you got me, it's so Back we would carry on and we do anything for what we started. But this time we could break our running dry. Everything's the same. We'll try to deny you this time. We're not safe and sound. Not safe and sound. What if I'm no good for you? What if you now I'm going to dry dust these blinds and then I'll go in with my same washcloth just to get them wet cleaned. Let me know in the comments what you're working on this week. How are you doing with your spring cleaning? Are you doing any decluttering? What are you guys up to? Um, I love when you tag me on Instagram. It's one of my favorite things. Thank you so much, Roxanne, for tagging me this week. My account is Jenny Teal, so come find me over there and tag me with any of your project photos or decor photos, cleaning, whatever, or just come say hi. I'd love to get to know you over there.
Thank you guys so much for your support over here on my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And when you come back and watch and leave comments for me, you truly just make my week. It really is a joy to be a part of this channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jenny and I have three kids. I live over here in Southern Louisiana. And my cleaning journey started more as a mental health journey. I was using cleaning to start managing anxiety and depression. And I found that I could kind of clean my way to calm. So it was just kind of an interesting thing that it became part of mental health management for me. So now cleaning is more than just cleaning for me. It's almost like self-care and it's something I do for myself and my family that we get to live in a cleaner house in a more decluttered house. And it's totally not perfect. I am on a journey just like you. There are parts of my house that I would be so embarrassed right now to show you, but that's all part of the journey. It's never about perfection. It's always just about continuing to make progress. And there really is joy in the journey. So I just want to inspire you encourage you if you're in a slump with your cleaning or any of your routines just take it you know one day at a time and just do something today that you'll be thankful for tomorrow and I'm really glad that you're here I'm anything but you cuz all I want is to get some shut eye but the thought of you is keeping me awake I don't know what it is Now that the fireplace is all cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spring touches. I have a wreath from last year. These candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby. And those nail holes are actually for our stockings. And I really need to patch those and paint this, um, but I didn't get to that on this day. This is an old hymnal that I have from back when I was in the Air Force, I was cleaning out my room and I found it under my dorm bed. And then this cute little bird's nest with the cloche and the little tin plant I got in an antique store when Tony and I went to Fairhope recently. I found so many things on that trip. That was just a really fun antique mall to go through. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy walking through places like that and just looking at everything. And then here on the hearth, I just thought I'd keep it simple and do a basket with a little cozy blanket in there and a little stool. But it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. Moving on in the room, I have this mirror that, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this mirror yet or not. Um, it's Reclaim Barn Wood. It's from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale the one week, so it was a really good deal. And I just thought it looked really nice and pulled from some of the wood tones by the fireplace. Here behind my little server, um, it's really not too bad this time. All I found was Incredible Hulk and some dust. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, I think my cleaning routines are finally starting to click in a little bit or kick in a little bit, I guess, um, because I used to wait way too long to do these kinds of things. And I still do sometimes, but in this case, I must have been a little more disciplined than I thought. So I was really glad not to have such a huge mess as I usually do. Ready to go.
foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go See it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go Very simple again here with the decor just a white pitcher with some florals from Target a couple of my grandfather's vintage books and a candle that I had picked up from last year so the only new thing right here are the stems and I thought they looked really nice and I kind of thought they added a nice little pop of green so now across the room this is my sideboard and all we found was play-doh and some more dust so I really do think I must have pulled this out and cleaned it for some other reason and just forgot that I did it because normally these are so much worse um, and I was really surprised that they weren't as dirty as they usually are. I wish I could say the same thing for my dining table. That one was way worse. So stay tuned to see all that was under my dining room table. So here on the sideboard, again, just kind of shopping my home. I really didn't buy hardly any decor this year. I just shopped my home and used what I had. This basket, a couple of cookbooks, and a candle on top, these candlesticks, and this little plant. The plant is new, and that is from Target. The candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby from another year, and the basket is also from Hobby Lobby from, I think, last year. So I was happy with the way this turned out. I really just wanted to keep it simple, something that was easy to pick up and clean, which is always a priority for me. Now I'm just taking off these pillow covers and putting them in the wash along with this throw. And then I plan on doing a little bit more cleaning today and then I will start again the next day. This ended up being a two day cleaning project.
I'm gonna go ahead and clean these shades also with my lint roller just like I did the lamp shades they're really thin and they were supposed to be temporary shades until we got better ones but we plan on replacing these back doors so we just never invested in the window treatments because we know that we're gonna get new doors so these have just stayed here for a couple of years and you know I do the best I can with them but I'm not really concerned about them because I know that this will all be replaced sometime this year. Okay, so it's now the next morning and I'll get these covers back on the pillows and then I'll go ahead and get my dining table started. I wanna get the chairs cleaned off and then we need to move it because there is a ton of stuff under that dining table that I need to attend to. I'm gonna go ahead and take Alex's booster seat off and I went to go take out my Bissell to use the upholstery attachment so that I could clean off these chairs and I was actually out of solution. So I couldn't believe it. I really thought I had a backup solution in my garage but it turns out I don't. So I had to put that on hold but I was able to at least clean off the wood part of the chairs and get the booster seat cleaned off really well. I actually left it off because he is big enough to sit at the table without the booster now. He is so tall for his age and it's so funny because he doesn't wanna get in the booster and so he'll go sit in a different seat just so he doesn't have to use the booster. So I just decided to leave it off. Now here is what it looks like under my dining room table. So there's a lot of dried Play-Doh. Alex has been doing lots of Play-Doh projects. I think that's a French fry and that's some kind of cellophane um, and I don't know what else, but this is just a lot of probably dinner crumbs and just dust, <laughs> I don't even know. So I'm gonna get the top of it cleaned and then I'll dust off the pedestals underneath before I move it.
So you guys have seen me sweep up a lot of dust piles on my channel. You're very well acquainted with my dust piles, but I really think that this one is the most colorful one I've probably ever swept up. So here I'm just gonna get it into my dustpan and then I'll go ahead and mop these floors. So I was definitely having technical difficulties on this day because normally I would have used my O Cedar Spin Mop to mop my floors, but I had to use my Light and Easy Steam Mop because I went to go get the O Cedar Spin Mop and the little, I guess the disc, you know, the part that's like the mop head, the part that connects to the mop head. Um, that little triangular shaped disc, that was missing. And I know my daughter had been using the pole as practice for her ROTC, just kind of like pretending it was a rifle. And I know I took it off and I think I put it up in the closet, but I could never find it. So I actually had to order a replacement part and it already came to the house, but I just didn't have it for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and steam mop these floors, but honestly, I really think that's probably what I should have done anyway, because you know, since I'm doing a deep clean, I really like how the steam can really deep clean and sanitize the floors. Turn it up, turn it up on a higher level. Turn it up, turn it up, we got this. Turn it up, turn it up on a higher level. Turn it up, turn it up, we got A big thank you to Boutique Rugs for sponsoring this part of today's video. This is the Parker Field rug in an 8x10, and I was so grateful when they sent this to me to put under my dining room table. I absolutely love it. You guys, I just wanted to show you a closer look. I just think it is so pretty. It has all the colors in my dining room, and I just think it's neutral, but it also has a little bit of contrast, and I just think this totally makes the room. It's helping with the acoustics, and I really just think it's perfect for this space. Boutique rugs are beautiful and affordable, and if you use my code CLEAN, you'll get an extra 5% off of the 60% off discount that they are currently promoting. So you definitely wanna to go to their website. I'll have everything linked in my description box. And thank you again to Boutique Rugs for sponsoring this part of the video. The stars, I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly So here's what my mod pad looked like at the end and here is my checklist with everything checked off and I'm happy to say that the dining room is now clean and calm. So I'm going to go ahead and light my candles and get all cozy in here and enjoy this space. I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I really hope that you liked it, that it was relaxing to watch, but also motivating to get something done in your house. Guard down for 
Hey friends, welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new around here, and I'm so excited today to get in here and tackle this family room. We're gonna be doing some deep cleaning today. This is part of my spring cleaning series, and it's not too bad as far as messes go, but that's a good thing because we're gonna be doing some heavy detail cleaning today. So we wanna spend most of our time getting into the details and making sure everything is good and clean before we head into summer. Now the way I like to deep clean is to take a cloth and wet it with some hot, hot water and some Dawn dish soap. And I just like to kind of strip away all of the furniture polish that's on here from every other time I clean and just kind of get it back to a really good clean surface. My question for you today in the comments is how often do you like to deep clean? Do you deep clean once a year, twice a year or quarterly or some other schedule? Just let me know in the comments, I would love to know. For someone like me Now that I have the coffee table all cleaned and removed from the rug, I'll go ahead and vacuum it with my shark corded vacuum. This one works really good and I just wanted to make sure I had some real strong power here to clean this rug. It's a relatively new rug, so I'm not gonna shampoo it or anything like that, but I wanna give it a good vacuum. That he deserves you. That he deserves you. Now I'm going to take this Resolve Upholstery and Multi Fabric Spray and spot clean my son's little chair. So there were some spots on here from some snacks that he was eating and I just wanted to make sure and get this all cleaned off really well while I was deep cleaning this room. This room is definitely a work in progress right now. It's super empty and we are waiting on our furniture as patiently as we can. I know in last week's video, I mentioned that it was due any day and that is still true, but we just don't know when. So this is actually the perfect time for me to deep clean this room really well before that new furniture comes. Now when I was vacuuming off this little side chair, I noticed that there was some pilling going on in the fabric. You can see these little darker spots. So I wanted to try out this fabric shaver that I ordered off of Amazon. And you guys, this thing worked really well. I was really, really happy with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shave off as much as I can off of this chair and then I'll let you guys see what I was able to get off. The ocean is near, but you dug a hole and buried my fear. So I know it doesn't look like much, but as far as fabric pilling, I think this is a pretty good amount that I was able to get off of this fabric. And it is a textured linen fabric, so it's not gonna be smooth, but I wanted to make sure and get some of those pills off. And I was really happy with the way this turned out. The fabric shaver, as well as any other things that I mentioned in this video, will be available in my description box under quick links. It's all trouble by, trouble by, trouble by, trouble now. Now that I have the floor cleared off and all the furniture moved to the side, I wanna start from top to bottom and get some cleaning done here with my duster. This is an extendable duster pole and I'll go ahead and get the light fixture as well as all of the tops of the ceilings, the walls, and this curtain rod. All this stuff gets so dusty and I find this is just the easiest and quickest way to clean this. I saw this on my friend Michelle's channel. It's called Mom to Moms and it was just a game changer for me because I didn't have to get out my ladder and make it take so much longer. This is just a much easier way to do it for me. I'm gonna clean that window off at the top and then start here on the blinds. Trouble 
Now that the blinds are all dusted, I'll go ahead and spray them with this Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the basil scent and get them good and clean. I like to take my time with this part because there always is little spills and stains and splatters on here for some reason. So I just wanted to make sure and get in there really good with this spray and just kind of work my way from top to bottom cleaning these blinds. We recently got these new curtains and I love them so much. They're kind of a linen blend and they're an off-white and I just think that they soften this area so much and diffuse the light so beautifully. So I've really been enjoying those and I really just can't wait to see this room get put back together, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be patient, but it is so hard. We haven't had a sofa for months now and we are just so ready. There have been so many furniture delays lately and so I know we're not the only ones, but we are more than ready to get these sofas back in here so we can enjoy this room again. I can just picture us going back to our family movie nights and just hanging out and when family and friends come over, they have a place to sit other than the dining table. So we are very, very excited. To clean these windows, I'm just using the Method Glass Cleaner in the Mint Scent. I really like the way this smells and I think it does a really good job cleaning the glass. Whenever I'm spring cleaning or doing any kind of deep cleaning, I always try to remember that this is like a big job and it's okay to take a few days to do it or a few weeks or even a couple of months. It really just is a lot of work. So always just be patient with yourself. Do as much as you can for one day and then just call it a day. That's what I've been doing to encourage myself. There's always gonna be work waiting for tomorrow and that's okay. But for today, this is what I can do. Here I'm just trying to get some of this dirt away from the baseboards and just kind of sweep it out more into the middle so that it's not right by the curtains. And I just kind of did this all around so that I could be ready to sweep. First though, I need to go ahead and clean my TV and my TV stand. For my TV, I like to use the Woosh Screen Cleaner. This is a really nice, safe cleaner for your TV screens, and I just love this product. So this is my go-to cleaning product, and you can find it on their website that I keep in my description box. But after this, I'll go ahead and clean off the TV stand, and then we'll move it away from the wall so that we can see what's behind there. Guarantee you there's gonna be some things as well as some dust. Now that I've got the main things pulled out of there and swept up, I'll go ahead and dust off all of these cords. Cords get so, so dusty, and I always feel like it's just a really good idea to get those cleaned off at least a couple of times a year. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give this room a good sweep. I'm treating this room a little bit separately from the office today so that I can just get this area cleaned and get the rug back on before moving to the office. So I'll sweep this area first and give it a good mop.
Now I am using my light and easy steam mop for these floors today and I've had some people mention that this might not be the best to use for hardwood floors but I have checked and it is okay to use for my particular floors on an occasional basis. So I do only do this maybe once or twice a year. The rest of the time I'll use my regular spin mop. So I like to do this once or twice a year just to kind of get off those really stubborn stains from the wood that the other mop just won't get up. And like I said, for my floors, they're engineered hardwood. It is okay. This steam mop doesn't get very hot, so I'm really not too worried about it. And it doesn't put off a lot of water, so these floors don't get really wet. But definitely check with your manufacturer to see if it's okay to use this on your floors because it may not. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now. I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free my youngest Alex wanted to help me unroll this rug so I thought that was really cute and I was happy to have the help and if you're new here, he is my three-year-old. I also have a 13-year-old named Nathan and a 16-year-old named Noelle. And I'm married to Tony and we live here in Southern Louisiana. So thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I am so appreciative. And I started my channel to help people create clean and calm spaces for themselves and for their families because I believe it is so, so good for mental health to have a clean and calm space and it has just helped me so much on my mental health journey and I love to share that with other people as well. I'd love to invite you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I'd be so happy to have you. So here it is day two and I'm gonna start here in the office on my husband's side. This is a his and her office. So we just have to share this space and this is how we've done it. And again, I'll start from top to bottom just getting the walls and everything up high nice and dusted off. Feels like I can fly You can take me high I'm taking this little Swiffer duster and dusting off these top shelves. I could tell they were really, really dusty, as you can see from the right side of this ledge. So I wanted a duster that I could just throw away when I was done because these were really, really dusty. I definitely need to clean these a little more often. Can't turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone And now I'm gonna clean these windows the same as I cleaned the other ones by dry dusting first and then using my wet spray and also pulling up the blinds to clean the windows. And I'll show you in just a minute this window ledge because it was really dirty and I wanted you guys to see a good before picture. Let me take a breath. Let me be a part of some. Hey, 
Now during this video, I was going off of my checklist. I like to use a checklist just to keep on track and make sure I'm working from top to bottom. And then if I have to take a break or go help one of my kids or take care of somebody or drive somebody somewhere, I don't lose my place as easily. So if you'd like a checklist, I have free printables on my website. It's called cleanyourwaytocalm.com and you can head over there and get yourself a free checklist. I have deep cleaning checklists, weekly checklists, daily checklists, whatever you're interested in, and I keep the link in my description box. I'm using this Febreze light spray just to kind of freshen up these curtains. These are relatively new curtains. Almost everything in this room is pretty new. So I just wanted to give them a refresh and give them a nice smelling scent. Now I'm moving on to my side of the office and I'm starting out again on this little shelf and get everything dusted off. My husband and I love sharing an office when we are together, like especially on the weekends. He doesn't work from home, but every now and then they'll send him to work from home. So he has to have a lot of equipment at his desk. And we do like being together in that way. The only thing I would change is I wish we had some kind of door maybe French doors or some kind of way to kind of soundproof a little bit in here because when I do voiceovers, if the kids want to watch TV, we do have to kind of coordinate that. So I think that in the future, I would love to have an office inside of a room or something with a door that can shut. But for now, we're super grateful for this space because there's no other place in our house that we could really have an office. So we're really glad to have this. This morning I was so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face These desks that we have have definitely seen better days, but again, we're grateful for them and they work, they function. They just don't look as great as they did years ago when we bought them. So I'm just gonna give these a really good cleaning, give them some love, and then we'll move on to the floors. If you've been overwhelmed lately by the cleaning tasks in your house or just by managing the clutter or I don't know, just anything like keeping up with your routines or you know tackling that room that's just been backed up for weeks or months. I totally understand. I will sit there and just have like the worst analysis paralysis and I will have no idea where to start because I'll have like 15 things that need my attention and it just gets overwhelming and I pretty much don't wanna do anything. So I really don't want you guys ever to think that this is just like, oh, something I just get up and do and it's no big deal. This is hard for me and this takes a lot of just motivation. I have to watch a lot of good YouTube videos before I get up and do this kind of thing. So even though this room was not a disaster by any means, it was still hard for me to get up and do because I really didn't feel like doing it. So you're not alone. If you don't like doing this kind of thing, you're not alone. I just love the feeling that I get when it's done. I don't necessarily love cleaning, but I just love a clean, calm space. So when that is done and I look around and I get that feeling, it makes me really happy and it motivates me to keep going.
gonna go ahead and do that same kind of sweeping. I'll pull away the curtains and just get under there really well. And I know there's a lot of kind of crumbs on the floor, paper trash on the floor, and I'll get under my husband's desk really good as well as mine, and then we'll go ahead and mop these floors. The truth to justify but baby, two wrongs doesn't make it right I'll be yours till the Now I'm gonna go ahead and mop, and I think I forgot to mention that I'm using the Method Floor Cleaner, the Wood Floor Cleaner, and the Almond Scent. That one is by far my favorite. It brings about a beautiful shine on the floor, but it also just smells so good because almond, I mean, who doesn't like for your floors to smell like cupcakes or a bakery? <laughs> that is definitely a win-win in my opinion. So now this his and her office is clean and calm and it makes me so happy. The living room is clean and calm and the office as well. So I'm just gonna give you a little overview so that you can kind of see what we did today and kind of capture that feeling that I was trying to describe for you before of what it feels like to look around at a clean and calm space. It just feels so good. And this is why I just keep continuing to do this, moving from room to room, focusing on progress, not perfection. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it gave you some motivation, some inspiration to tackle some of the projects that you have on your to-do list. I'm always so grateful that you've joined me today. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and set that bell notification to all so that I can see you on next week's video. Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new around here, and today we will be working here in the kitchen. So as you can see here in my kitchen, I've already got all of my decor taken down as much as I can. I've just got my everyday items up, and that'll just make deep cleaning so much easier. I find that if my kitchen is already tidied up and there's not a ton of dishes, it's just so much easier to deep clean. Otherwise, if I try to tidy it first and then deep clean, I usually wear out and I just don't have the energy. So I'm starting here with this dusty light fixture over the sink, and I'll use this feather duster on an extension pole to get all up in the nooks and crannies over here. So I'm just gonna dry dust this first and then I'll wash it with a hot soapy washcloth. Dream guiding us, and not a single cloud.
Now that the light fixture is clean, I'll move on down to these blinds. And again, I'll dry dust them first and then I'll wash them off with the washcloth and then I'll pull them up and go ahead and clean that window as well. Let me know in the comments if you've started spring cleaning yet and if so, what are you working on? What tasks are you doing all over the house? Or if you're doing one room at a time, what room are you working on right now? I would love to know. And I know that we're gonna get our houses all back in order and it's gonna be such a great feeling, especially now that the weather is starting to get a little bit prettier and we have a few more sunny days mixed in with the cooler days. It just really motivates me to get those windows open and get some cleaning done. And it's always just such a great feeling. So let me know what you're working on. So lately I've been on the search for a little curtain to put in my window just to kind of diffuse the light a bit right here. It's a little bit harsh sometimes in the afternoons and I really wanted something just to kind of soften this area a little bit, add a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, and I really think this looks good. I think it warms up the space a bit. So let me know what you think in the comments if you like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this same feather duster and just kind of go along the edges where the ceiling meets the walls. And then I'm also gonna go on top of these cabinets. And I got this idea off of one of my absolute favorite cleaning channels, mom to moms My friend Michelle runs that channel. And if you are struggling to create routines or just to stay on top of your cleaning, she is your go-to channel. She is a very efficient cleaner and she gets it done. So as you can see under my fridge, it's a little bit bad over here and the baseboards are really dusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this next. And as cute as Alex's artwork is from Valentine's Day and Mardi Gras, I'm gonna go ahead and take these down and put them away. And I'll go ahead and clean the sides of this refrigerator really well. And then I also wanna tackle the back of it because it's just really dusty. And a lot of dust and dust bunnies always seem to collect in those vents at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those vacuumed and cleaned really well. Since I heard you were talking 
And while I have the fridge pulled out, I'll go ahead and clean these upper cabinets because I know I'll be working on that shortly. And I'll go ahead and get this done before that goes back in. I'm also going to be using mopping glue today on my floors. Now I have to say that I am trying a few new cleaning methods and products today. And I just wanted to try them out. I'm spring cleaning a little bit differently than I did last year. I'm trying to always continue to improve the process, make it better, make it more efficient. Um, so the Mop and Glow was one of the products that I picked up and I wasn't crazy about how it performed on my floors. It might perform better on different types of floors, but for mine, they were just a little too sticky afterwards, even after they had dried. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick with my method floor cleaner, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, that I try out different things, but that I'm always honest with you guys about how it works for me. So here is the nice clean floor underneath the fridge. So I'll go ahead and move it back now. For the front of the fridge, I'll go ahead and use these Wyman stainless steel wipes. These are by far my favorite. I used these for many months and then I switched over to the spray and I really didn't care for it as much, but I just wanted to finish it up. And now I'm back to the wipes. I feel like these leave the best streak-free shine and they're by far my favorite. I also wanted to let you guys know that I will not be deep cleaning the inside of the fridge or the pantry today because that will be in a separate video. I'm really just gonna focus on the cabinets and the counters and the appliances in the kitchen as well as the floors. So be on the lookout for a video where I tackle deep cleaning and organizing the inside of my refrigerator and pantry. Now I'm gonna start with the kitchen cabinets and I'll work my way from top to bottom. And all I use is ivory dish soap or Dawn dish soap on a washcloth and that gets the job done. I don't like to use any harsh chemicals on these cabinets because I did paint them myself and I wanna make sure that the finish lasts as long as it can. So it's been two years now since I painted them and so far they are holding up so well and I just wanna keep taking good care of them. And if you are interested in painting your kitchen white, if you've ever had the desire to do that and are curious about the process, I do have a video showing the entire process of painting this kitchen and I always keep it linked in my description box for you guys to watch. So make sure you check that one out, it's a really good one. Look at your pearls hanging by my bedside. Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. I never knew love could be so sweet. I never knew it would stay. I never knew love like this would leave. So I'm pulling out this drawer here at the bottom of my stove so that I can get this cleaned out really well. If you are unable to pull out your stove, if it's just too heavy or too awkward, you know, this is a really good method to get this area cleaned. And um, you can really get in there pretty well with the vacuum and then you can get in there with a microfiber cloth. And this is just a really good way to clean it that I would highly recommend. I'm also gonna be vacuuming out the drawer because I still have baking soda in it from last year when I cleaned my oven with the baking soda. So I don't wanna repeat that this year. That was not my favorite method. Um, as you can see, there's still baking soda in here from last year.
So this year I'm actually gonna be using Easy Off Oven Cleaner Fume Free. And I really don't like the harsh chemicals and the strong smell of the original, but the Fume Free I really liked. I thought it worked really well and it really didn't smell bad at all. It has kind of like a lemon scent. So I definitely recommend this method. And for the racks, I actually used the Dawn Power Wash and I just sprayed them and let it sit before I scrubbed them. Now, as I'm editing this, I definitely would have just used the Easy Off on these as well, but I usually don't think of these things in the moment. Most of the time I figure out how to do things while I'm editing because I see what I'm doing and I realize that there are better ways. So I'm just gonna let those products sit for a bit while I unload the dishwasher and get all these dishes put away and then we'll go back and clean them. I'm actually gonna be leaving them for about an hour. So just so you guys know how long it actually was. For the dishwasher, I'm just going to use this Finish Dishwasher Deep Cleaner, say that three times, and that'll make that process really easy. It's a brand new dishwasher, so I'm not going to worry about cleaning the filter, but I did want to go ahead and give it a deep clean with that little product. And then I'm just going to put these dishes away, and then I'll go ahead and get the microwave cleaned out. I'm following along on my checklist, mostly just because I don't like to lose my place. I get interrupted a lot when I'm cleaning. I'm a mom of three and I have to run people different places, pick up people. I have to change diapers. I have to do different things. So checklists for me are just a nice and easy way to kind of keep my place in case I have to break up the cleaning into different times or days or even weeks and so that helps me to remember where I left off and then it helps me to know how to clean in the right order from top to bottom. So if you need a checklist, I do have some on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com and you can go. I have free printables if you're a checklist kind of person and you'd like to have one. I'm anything but you Cause all I want is to get some shut eye but the thought of you is keeping me awake. I don't know what it is, but it's been like this ever since we kissed. I don't know what to do. So to clean my microwave, I like to spray some vinegar spray. It's vinegar, water, and a dash of Dawn dish soap. And then I go ahead and just spray that all in there. And then I just microwave it for a couple of minutes, two or three minutes. And then I just wipe it out with a sponge and it's very easy, it just melts right off. I used to put it in a bowl and microwave the vinegar either in a measuring cup or a bowl, but you don't really even have to do that. You can just spray it in there and microwave it and it really does the same thing. So for me, that's just an easier way to do it. And then I'm taking the Wyman stainless steel wipes to do the outside. I forgot to show the camera, but for the cooktop today, I'm using the Mrs. Myers Cream Cleanser in the Lemon Verbena, and that one is my favorite right now. It's my go-to for the sink and the stove top because it's a really gentle cleaner, but it's a really good degreaser as well. So I like to scrub that really well with my scrubber sponge, and then I go over it with a glass cleaner to bring back the shine.
If you're new here today, I just wanted to officially introduce myself and say welcome. Again, my name is Jenny and I'm a mom of three and I live here in Louisiana. And I started my channel because I wanted to take charge of my mental health. It really has helped me along with many other things. Um, and it's one way that I manage anxiety and depression. And so I love to share inspiration on my channel just to give hope to other people too who just feel overwhelmed by the state of their homes or also have mental health issues and just need that friend to clean with and get things done with. So thank you so much for joining me. And thank you to all of you for all of your sweet, sweet messages while I was out um, with some issues that my husband was having with his health. And, you know, he's doing much better. We've got a few answers and we're just working through that but we are okay and i just wanted to thank you so much for your thoughts and prayers during that time i am so happy to be back and i'm grateful for everybody's support Here in my accent cabinet, I wanted to put up a couple of touches for spring, a couple of cookbooks in this cute little copper pot that I found at an antique store. And I have this little crock that I picked up at Kirkland's last year. And I put some wooden spoons and rolling pins in there. And then I also got this at the antique store. This store was in Fairhope, Alabama. And Tony and I went on a little weekend getaway and it was the cutest store. And so I'm really glad I picked those things up. And I really like the way this little cabinet turned out. So here I'm going to start scrubbing at these oven racks and I was really happy with the way the Dawn was working. As you can see, it looks really good compared to this side over here, um, but it does take some work. So I was really scrubbing pretty hard um, to be able to get these, not super hard, but um, I did have to work at it a bit. So the easy off might have been a better option. I'll have to try that next time I clean these. Um, but I was still happy with the Dawn and I was able to get these cleaned up pretty easily um, with this little scrubber. So now that they're pretty clean, I'll go ahead and give a rinse to them just so that there's no chemicals still on them when I put them back in the oven. And when I went to rinse them, I could see some spots that I missed. So I went ahead and just touched those up the best that I could. And then I just went ahead and called it good. It's They're not perfect, but they really don't need to be. I just wanted to make some progress here and get them cleaner than they used to be. Um, here's the towel that I used. You can kind of see, you know, what all we got off of there. So now I'm gonna work on the oven and I'll just do the same thing. Take that scrubber and just scrub and get as much off as I can. And then I'll go ahead and start wiping them down.
I was really happy with the way this came out. Again, it's not perfect. So um, I did the best I could with it. And I was really happy with the way that this product performed. And I'll definitely be using this one again. And once I had as much off as I could with the sponge and the paper towels, I went ahead and washed out the inside of the oven just with water, just to remove as much of the chemicals as I could before I used the oven. And now the dishwasher cycle was done and as you can see the little container is all empty and so my dishwasher on the inside is good to go. Now I'm just going to take a minute to get my diffuser going. I wanted the house to start smelling really good, especially here in the kitchen. One of my sweet subscribers, Jen from the Modern Farmstead, was kind enough to send me a couple of essential oil blends. And this one is called Hello Spring. It has jasmine, elong elong, lime, and vanilla. So it smells so amazing. So if you guys are interested in essential oils, make sure you go check her out. And if you are a subscriber of mine and you have something you would like me to share on my channel, go ahead and send it to me. I have a PO box in my description box. And I would love to see anything involving your small business or what you are up to. So now I'm moving on to cleaning my Keurig and I like to fill it up halfway with vinegar and halfway with water and then I'll let that cycle through completely. And then when that's done, I'll go ahead and wash out the reservoir really good with dish soap, fill it up with clear water and go ahead and run that through until it's finished as well. Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. Now I'll go ahead and wash out these accessories. And again, I'm just using dish soap and I'll go ahead and take these pieces apart and just get them scrubbed down really well. And I'm just kind of working my way from the inside to the outside of the Keurig. So the vinegar is what cleans the inside of the Keurig, like the parts that the coffee runs through to be able to um, brew the coffee. So that's all getting cleaned out with the vinegar. And then the outside, I just wipe down with a damp microfiber cloth and I just wash out all these parts. And that way we can get a good clean on this Keurig. Does it all become for granted with 
Now once the vinegar's gone through and loosened everything in here, as far as just coffee stains and things like that, I like to run a little microfiber cloth through here and you know just kind of get up and wipe up whatever the vinegar has loosened but just be really careful because there is a needle in there so you don't want to put your fingers by it but this is what i was able to get off on the cloth now here is the real threat this is where everything just kind of congeals on there and this is you know what happens when you don't clean this part enough so i originally thought i could just dawn power wash this and get it off that worked well for the metal plate, but that did not work so hot for this plastic piece. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna need to soak this in vinegar. And that did a beautiful job. So I'll let you go ahead and see how it turns out. So here I'm making a little vinegar bath, half water, half vinegar. I'll go ahead and stick this little part in and I let it sit for just as long as it took me to clean off all my backsplashes and counters. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
So here you can see vinegar is such a powerful cleaning agent because it just melted everything right off and the water says it all. So you can see now that it's pretty clean. The water's pretty dirty, just full of coffee. So that did a great job and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off, dry it off, and we'll get this Keurig put back together. Now that the top of the kitchen is clean, I'll go ahead and work on the bottom. What I like to do for the bottom is just clean off the cabinets just like I did the top. And then after that, I will run my washcloth underneath the cabinets where you can see that there's like a baseboard there. And I'll go ahead and try to get that as clean as I can. And then I'll show you what I do after that because there's one more step I like to add on after that. try to leave you still make me want to stay you ask me to believe in the words that you say but i can't be strong if you can't move on don't you think we've had enough of the trauma you bring ain't you tired After I'm done the cabinets and the baseboards, the last thing I like to do is take this scratchy part, scrubber part of my microfiber cloth, and I'll just scrub the floor where it meets the baseboard because that area tends to get dirt pushed up into it from when I mop every week. And I know the mop's just kind of pushing it up into those corners. And so whenever I clean like this a couple times a year, I'll just go ahead and hand clean this because it just does a better job than the mop ever will.
go out and face the cold, but it's a really good time for a monologue. Can't let this pass. I find it hard to breathe. Time is up. The bell has rang, and it's really hard to understand. But losing you now is the only choice for me. So for my sink today, I went ahead and used the Mrs. Myers Cream Cleanser, just like I used for my stove top, and my sink is nice and clean. And then I'll finish it off with this Glisten Garbage Disposer Pod. And so you just put that in and you run your disposal for just a few seconds, I think like 30 seconds, and it smells really good and it puts like a lemon oil into your disposal and cleans it. And then I'll go ahead and start sweeping this kitchen because we're gonna give it a good mop. Minutes ago, you were still mine. Feels like I'm drifting too far from the line. When you left, your final word released. The following weeks, I'd understand I will never be that close to someone again. The further I go, the closer you. You guys know I love my mop. I am such a diehard fan of this mop, the Light and Easy Steam Mop. This is just such a great, great mop to have. It's very lightweight and it's powerful. And this is my go-to mop for the kitchen and the bathrooms because of the steam feature. I just love how it sanitizes the floors. So I'll go ahead and finish up here and then we will take a look at our clean and calm space. Okay friends, the kitchen is now clean and calm and I am so grateful. I'm so happy that this hardest room is done and I can now just enjoy it. And there's so much more spring cleaning content coming up on my channel, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube family and hit the notifications. Make sure it's set to all so that you don't miss any videos. Hey friends and welcome back to cleaning therapy my name is Jenny if you're new here and today I'm just wrapping up my spring cleaning series with some outdoor cleaning so I really hope that you find pressure washing as satisfying as I do I just think it is so fun to watch the transformation of the sidewalks getting cleaned the siding on the house the porches I just find it so relaxing and satisfying. So I really hope that you enjoy this. It's gonna have some pressure washing in here. I also have some cleaning. I'll go ahead and get the windows cleaned and I'll do a little front porch makeover for spring. I'm really excited because I haven't had anything on my porch for a long time and I've got some new furniture and just some things to spruce it up for spring. So stay tuned. I also have this Ryobi pressure washer. So this is what I'm using for this video if you are interested this one works so so well i absolutely love it so i will have that linked in my description box for you guys so make sure and leave a comment and say hi and thank you again for being here
I was so happy to be getting this done today. I did not pressure wash last year and I don't remember why, but for some reason we skipped it. And so the sidewalks had become extra dirty and the siding on the house, the windows, everything was just in such need of a good pressure washing. So I was so happy to get this done today and it was just so nice to have, you know, those bright white sidewalks and driveway again. And I was really happy with the way this pressure washer performed. Um, we read so many reviews trying to find the best one for us for the price point and for the performance. And I went over to Home Depot and picked this one up, but you can get it on Amazon as well. And we were just really happy with it. Leave me a comment and let me know how your spring cleaning is going. A lot of you might be done by now because we are heading into June and so it's time for all the summer things. We're so excited to do some things with the kids and be outside more and start our vacations and everything that goes along with summer. So let me know in the comments what your plans are this summer. Are you finished with your cleaning? Are you ready to relax? Let me know what you're up to. And I'm not gonna show me pressure washing everything. I'm just gonna show some clips of each little area so that you guys can get the idea. And of all I should have done. I did take a few breaks during this. I was finding that the direct sun was really, really hard to work in. And then every now and then we would get a little bit of cloud cover and the breeze would come through and it was actually very, very pleasant. So I think when I had the cloud cover, I actually really loved doing this. I thought it was really fun and I enjoyed it. But when the direct sun came on, that's when it got a little bit difficult. But just make sure if you're doing this, just to take breaks if it's really hot outside. Our weather has been up in the 90s um, and you know sometimes the high 90s. So um, just take breaks, drink water, and make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of um, opportunities for rest. Um, this is a big job and you know you need to break it up and take care of yourself. So, but it is very fun to see the progress, especially watching it on camera. When the sun Sometimes I'm guilty of just focusing on the inside of the house and not worrying about the outside too much. And that's something I really wanna start changing moving forward. I love to keep a clean house. It's not always clean for sure, but I love to aim for that because I enjoy having a clean house. And I, you know, look around and my surroundings are messy and it's, it's my cue to clean the house or to get the kids up and we all clean as a family. But for some reason, I will forget sometimes about the outdoors, especially the back of the house. And when I'm out there and the kids are playing or, you know, if I'm out with Alex, my three-year-old, I will just look around and wonder why I forgot about it or neglected it. And I really would like to enjoy our outdoor spaces a little bit more. And I think that I could if they were a little bit cleaner. So I am trying to be better about that and to try to tend to and clean my outdoor spaces along with my indoor spaces. Time
thankfully I'm almost done here with this driveway section, but I wanted to remind you guys that on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com, I do have free printables there. They're cleaning checklists. I have weekly, daily, monthly, and spring cleaning. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go over there and check those out. And stay tuned because my favorite part of this video is definitely the porch makeover. I cannot wait to show you guys the furniture we got and the way that we set up the porch for spring. So I am almost done here with this large driveway. It's actually a pretty long driveway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this top part right here and finish off this little black square that you see me standing in. And then so that I could move on to the back, my son was kind enough to finish the rest of the driveway, which is a little bit off camera. And so he finished that for me. So I was really grateful. I wanted to thank Caraway for sponsoring today's video. Caraway is a brand of 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware. As you can see me unboxing it, they have packaged everything with such great care. Everything is protected so that when you get your set, there won't be any scratches or anything wrong with the set. It's just all very carefully packaged and I always really appreciate that. There's nothing worse than being so excited to receive something and it comes damaged. So I was just carefully taking everything out and setting everything up on the counter to appreciate it. This cookware is so much more even beautiful in person than I have seen it on videos. I was really, really impressed with the quality and the look of this cookware. So I went with the cream color, which I absolutely love. It is the most beautiful, warm white. It's such a beautiful shade of cream. And the inside is gray. And as you can see, everything is just very well put together. It's sturdy and again, 100% non-toxic, so a clean way to cook. And it even comes with these free organizers that fit the pots and pans perfectly. And they're magnetic, so that's how they fit together so that you can change around the order of how you want to stack them. And it's just really convenient. So here they are all in their organizers. And there's also an organizer for the lids. So they give you a nice little canvas organizer right here that you can hang inside your cabinet and put your lids on. So again, everything is packaged with care. I'll go ahead and remove the little film that's on the handle to protect it and check my description box for a link to get 10% off of Caraway cookware. I know you're not going to be disappointed. This is really nice cookware and I have absolutely been loving it. So thank you so much to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. So now that the driveway's done, I'm working on the front porch and I had some stains over here that I was curious of whether or not the pressure washer would get them up and I was very happy that it did. Did a great job on all of the stains on my porch and I just felt like my porch was looking new again. And it was the perfect stage to set for my little porch makeover.
I wasn't able to film too much more inside of the porch because the back spray from the pressure washer was going to spray onto my camera. So I needed a little more space to work if I was gonna film it. So I just kind of filmed the front here of me getting the stucco. And then I'm gonna take my O Cedar Spin Mop with some Dawn dish liquid and just go ahead and scrub these windows down before I wash them off with the pressure washer. And there are different attachments to use when you're using the pressure washer on different surfaces. So I went ahead and changed out my nozzle to something a little bit softer with a little bit more of a spray feature rather than that really concentrated um, like turbo action just to be safe with my glass and this worked really well and it got all my glass sparkling clean. Now I'm moving on to the back of the house, and as you can see, the back of the house was really filthy as well, but this thing did the job, so I was really happy with the way it performed, and there was just a lot of dirt on the back of the house, and I was playing out here with Alex one day, and he was doing his splash pad and his water table, and I just looked up and I could not believe how dirty it had gotten, so I wanted to make sure that this was my next video so that I could get this done. And again, I'm so happy with the way it came out. The only tips I have for you if this is your first time using a pressure washer, which technically this was my first time using one, and the only thing I would say is that just make sure you're not going too close to certain things, like the pavement obviously is safe, but just to protect the paint on your house, the siding, the stucco, you don't want to go really close and maybe break up the stucco or break up the paint. So um, just be really careful with your services, read the manual carefully and make sure that you're using the right nozzle for that surface as well as the right like distance from it. Um, I just find that to be really important and make sure you're wearing rain boots or galoshes because there's gonna be a lot of spray back and I got soaking wet doing this. So, but it was actually a lot of fun. It's pretty tedious because you can only do like a little tiny bit at a time. This is sped up, so it's really hard to appreciate that, but it really is a pretty slow and tedious process. But as long as you have an imagination and can entertain yourself during the process, um, you should be just fine. I like to daydream a lot. So I was just thinking about all the things that I wanted to think about and enjoying all my thoughts while I was doing this. So sometimes it's fun to have a break from your normal routine. You take all that is left Nothing to mold No looking back A sigh We're caught in the wind Where our story ends now that all the pressure washing is done, it's time to do a little bit of decorating. I got these wooden rockers from Lowe's. I thought they were a really good price and they looked really nice and they're in the natural color. And then I got the pillows also from Lowe's and I really enjoy those. And then this little mat, this is kind of like a layering piece that I got from Hearth and Hand at Target. And then the Welcome Home mat is from Target as well. And then I just wanted to finish it off with these beautiful flowers. I just wanted to kind of do a mixed flower arrangement and then I have my little watering can 
for now. I do want to eventually find a little table to go between the rockers so I can sit and have my morning coffee, but I'm still on the hunt for that. So this is how the front porch came out. It's very simple. But you guys know that that's my style. I think less is more and I just enjoy a decluttered, nice, peaceful space to enjoy. So I could not be more happy with how this came out. The porch is still a little bit wet right now, so it still needs to dry, but I can already tell it's so nice and clean. So thank you so much for being with me today, guys. I appreciate you so, so much. I hope that it inspired you to get some outdoor cleaning done, to freshen up your spaces, for you to enjoy clean and calm spaces outdoors as well. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so I can see you again on next week's video. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.